in the air flying in from Arizona uh, working for Mexican gray wolves. So I didn't get to see a wolf, didn't even find a track, but found out what it's like to be on the uh, cusp of the rim looking down where Aldo Leopold shot his wolf, which um, is a subject of an essay where he watched the green fire die. And uh, it's a very emotional spot if you're a wolf supporter because it changed his whole outlook of wolves when he killed this wolf and saw the green fire die in her eyes. So, so it's been an emotional week. I've been out there, saw monsoons, nearly got struck by lightning, <laughs> but I'm here. Uh, and I want to give a little background as to what brings us here. And the whole issue here is that in Michigan, we are being managed through legislation. We have a fantastic wolf management plan, but with the stroke of a pen, our legislation, get, or our management plan gets changed. The first bill that was signed into law allowed the removal, capture, and lethal control of gray wolves, killing, wounding, or biting livestock. So Public Act 290 um, overruled even our wolf management plan, but now everyone who has any issue with a wolf is allowed to kill a wolf. Then we had a whole bunch of other lists. 318 authorized the removal, capture, and lethal control of any wolf that's killing, wounding, or biting a dog. So we have a livestock bill, we have a dog bill. So people can kill, manage wolves. If you have a wolf in your yard, the wolf kills a dog, like what happened here at Atlantic Mine, you have the authority to kill that wolf. Um, but then also what happened was um, we have another law that was signed by the governor in 2012 that allows payment for missing livestock. So not only do we all, we already pay for wolves that kill livestock, but now we can also pay for missing livestock. PA 520, which was signed in December of 2012, is what brought us all together the first time because it designated the wolf a game animal through legislation and authorized the hunting season. Based on that, because we're a referendum state, some of you may have been involved where we collected signatures, petitioned, certified enough signatures to put that on the ballot for voters to decide in November of 2014 whether or not wolves should be hunted. But before that can even go through the process, we have Public Act 21, which is signed by the governor on May 8th, and now grants the authority to the NRC to designate any species, not just the wolf, any species as a game animal. And that's what brings us here tonight. We're hoping that we can gather enough signatures to overturn PA 21. And the main reason why is NRC is a politically appointed body. Only one member of the NRC commission is, is has a natural resource background. Everyone else is a businessman or some else connected with the hunting sea, uh, with hunters or trappers. So we have a non-elected uh, body deciding how wolves and any other game animal can be managed. And this is what we're trying to get up here. Um, and why? Hatred has become the reason for hunt. I know I don't have to show you this. You've seen these before. The only good wolf is a dead wolf. Get addicted to wolves. Um, smoke a pack a day. That's a real common one up here. No wolves. It's hatred that's driving this hunt, not science. Oh. Uh, there it is. I thought, oh, I hear it came out wide. I thought, oh no, what happened to my numbers? Um, how many wolves do we have in the state? This is going to be, if you're collection, collecting signatures, this is important to know. In 2013, we only have 658 wolves. The number actually dropped from 2011 when we had our last survey. And you can also see here, um, I don't have my pointer with me. We've had, it's it has consistently gone up. It's been going up gradually, but it levels off. And that's what is shown in every one of the Great Lakes seasons, Great Lakes states. The wolf population is leveling off. Once wolves uh, occupy their prime habitat, it shows wolves stabilize in their populations. And it does that without a hunting season. So hunting season is not needed for controlling conflicts. It's not needed to prevent this population from exploding. They're going to self-regulate.